John is told that he's going to see visions of things that are going, shortly going to take place, things that are in his near future. But at the beginning of Revelation, we don't actually see things that are future for John, but things that are past for John. In a previous episode, we noticed that Revelation 5 talks about the Lamb appearing in heaven to receive the book and to begin opening the seals. That's a vision of the ascension of Jesus. John saw Jesus depart from earth, and now he's able to see Jesus ascend into heaven as the Lamb and come into his glory from the other side of the firmament. And that helps to get a fixed point on what's happening in the subsequent scenes of Revelation. We have an event that we can date things to. Whatever happens in Revelation chapter 6 is something that follows the ascension of Jesus. Jesus begins opening the seals and the four horsemen come out. Those four horsemen must be something that follow the ascension of Jesus. Well, what could that be? The most obvious thing that follows the ascension of Jesus is the gift of the Spirit. And I think that's what the four horsemen represent. As the Lamb opens the seals in heaven, the Spirit goes out as the rider on the horse of the church. Uh, Yahweh tells Israel that Israel is his war horse, and the church is the war horse of the Spirit. As the Spirit goes out, the things that the four, horsemen rep uh, the four horses represent are happening in the earth. What are those things? The Holy Spirit goes out riding a white horse, which is a horse of conquest, a horse of the victorious message of the gospel. The Spirit goes out riding a red horse, which is a horse of division and conflict. Uh, the rider is given a sword, because whenever the gospel goes out, it creates division among men. Jesus said it creates division even among families. Then the Spirit goes out on a black horse, and the black horse represents a partial famine, famine of barley and wheat, but a replenishment of oil and wine. Certain things are diminished, certain things are preserved. With, within the division that the Spirit creates with the preaching of the Gospel, a certain side of that division is decapitalized, while the other one gains wealth and people. And then finally the Spirit goes out on a green horse, which is the horse of death, of war, famine, and pestilence. When those who have resisted Christ continue to resist Him, then there will be a final judgment. What John is seeing are, is a vision of what happens in the apostolic period. That's what happens in the book of Acts. First the Spirit goes out, first the Gospel goes out, then there's division, then uh, the church gather, uh, gains as, as Israel loses, as the Jews lose, then there will be a final judgment. But that happens every time the, the Spirit rides the war horse of the church into battle. Every time the Spirit goes out, He brings division. He brings uh, a depletion of resources on those who resist. He brings death and judgment so that the world can be changed and transformed into the kingdom of the Lord. <music>